What's up everyone, Zach here, and today we'll be reflecting on my game dev journey thus far. As someone with no prior game dev experience or even programming experience, what was my catalyst to begin, why did I choose Unreal Engine 4, and have I enjoyed the journey thus far? All those questions shall be answered, so let's dive in. So what made me hop into game dev? Well, some of you may know, but I used to cover video game news and did a fair bit of reviews as well, mostly about MMOs, but sometimes I would dabble in other things as well. After numerous years of creating those videos, I paused to focus on my actual career I went to college for, and three years later, I knew something was missing in my life, a void that needed to be filled. As a creative person who loves video games, I always wondered, what if? What if instead of critiquing games, I made one? But one thing that always held me back was the art style I'd want to use and the programming aspect of things. For me, as a visual person, it's always been very hard to visualize the end result of code, which is this text on a screen. Enter modern game engines. As I saw over the years and found in 2020, game engines are far more intuitive than ever, so after watching many game dev videos, one day a light bulb just went off and I finally wanted to scratch the growing itch to create and leave a visual mark on the world. So it began. The two main game engines I considered was Unity and Unreal Engine 4. All the other engines had some downsides. Godot, while promising, is fairly unproven for 3D. Lumberyard is also unproven, and all the other engines had glaring flaws or limitations, at least for folks with my skill set and the game I was trying to make. As you all know, in August 2020, I chose Unreal Engine 4. But why? It really came down to a few things 3D capability, the visual scripting framework, engine features, community, uh, and a little bit of other minor things that I'm not really going to cover in this video because it'd be a bit too long. The first strike for Unity, though, came in its current 3D capabilities. While Unity has vastly improved in this area over the years, creating a game with a more realistic art style is still more difficult than doing so in Unreal. The second strike for Unity was its visual scripting framework. Now for context, Bolt wasn't free when I made this choice, but even if it was, blueprints blow it out of the water because of one simple reason. Blueprints are battle tested. Epic designed Unreal Engine 4 around blueprints and it shows, while Unity tacked on bolts and from what I read, it also shows. Which brings us to the third strike, engine features. Every comparison video I watched kept reiterating, even if it was pro Unity, that Unity is more of a sandbox and Unreal is more of a complete package. To me, that was an easy choice because while some may be intimidated by a ton of buttons and a lot of features, I'm not because I know how to filter what's needed in the moments and how to expand as I need more. And the last strike was community. Quite honestly, this is fairly even if you're willing to code, but it's, it's fairly one-sided if you're just looking to use visual scripting. Due to Unreal's blueprints being native to the engine and pushed by Epic, there is loads of tutorials and documentation to help even in the most obscure instances. To conclude this section, I don't want to make it seem like Unity is a bad engine. It's not. It's actually super good and way better than Unreal in many ways, like 2D for instance. Which just goes to show, even Epic Games, a billion dollar company, can't make a jack of all trades engine. And for my project and needs, Unreal fit it like a glove. The question that you may be all wondering the answer to is, have I enjoyed the journey thus far? Well, yeah, uh, far more than I thought I would, to be frank. In fact, because I wanted to take this seriously, you may have noticed a rebranding of sorts. My official LLC for game development is Heltherius Games. A Twitter and itch page was also set up, and a website is currently in development. So, yeah, it's definitely been enjoyable. 
What's neat about it as well is just how in six months and no experience, I've been able to create a 10 minute alpha and release it to all of you just with my spare time. Not only that, but my reliance on tutorials has dropped quite a bit already, and I'm at the point now, thanks to Combat 2.0, which will be discussed in the next devlog, so make sure to subscribe, that I can finally create more content. In six months, a solid foundation was formed. What I learned is that in 2021, there is no excuses. Now is a fantastic time to hop into game development. Whether you try to make it a career or like myself, just a side gig, there's so many educational outlets, loads of tutorials, and two massive and intuitive game engines with other fantastic alternatives as well. My hope is you see this video and are inspired to take the first step. So much I included numerous great channels below that teach game development, some for Unreal and also some for Unity. So be sure to expand the description and check them out. But yeah, it's been a wild six months. Started from nothing, built a basic level, built a basic AI, built a combat system, revamped each numerous times, built a side dungeon and its boss, refined a ton more, did UI, did settings, and a ton of other stuff, formed an LLC, and released my first alpha on itch.io, all just with spare time and now there is a solid foundation for me to utilize for the rest of the game. Thank you all so much for watching this recap of my journey thus far. If you want to continue to follow along my journey, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And while you're at it, why not follow my Twitter and check out Alpha 1 of Night of the Forgotten Realm. I would love to hear all of your feedback on Alpha 1 any and all feedback. I'm serious. Even if you just like it, just say, hey, I liked it. Or if you hate it, hey, I hated it. But if you have other great feedback as well, be sure to leave it in the comment section of this video or on the itch.io page. That does it for me though. My name is Zach and I will catch you all next time.